Hey, what's up? I'm Mike Melindy. I'm Alex Hudgens. And as you can see, we are live on the red carpet for Music's Biggest Night. That's right. This is the Grammys. It's the biggest night where all of your favorite stars, biggest names in the music industry get together under one roof to celebrate the triumphs of music this year. Absolutely. And it's our job to bring you the best and most exclusive interviews. So stay tuned because all that is coming up right now. Red carpet starts now, Black Tree TV. Let's go. Yes, we are here with the lovely Natalie Grant. So you are nominated tonight for Best Gospel Song and Performance, right? Congratulations. Very exciting. How does it feel? It feels awesome to be here. Um, it feels awesome to represent my genre. And I love, that's what I love about the Grammys is it recognizes every genre of music. And when you sit in the pre-show, a lot of people who watch the main show, you miss a lot of those categories. And watching the pre-show tonight, even this afternoon, I was like, I didn't even know some of these categories existed. And it's incredible. It's really That's kind of why it's great is that the Grammys honor everyone, That's literally. For music and the, you know, the Grammy Foundation, how does it feel to be a part of that, the work that they do? Well, it's a, it, to me, it's an honor because it's the very thing, the reason that I got into music is that music makes a difference in people's lives. It really does, and it has the power to heal. And so to be a part of something that also takes not just the music, but then takes the resources we have to help others who need so much, um, a huge honor to be a part of it. <laughs> You've been around for a while. Who are you loving right now? Because I've, I've known you for a long wow. time. Yes, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. <laughs> who this year, who are you excited to see tonight? You know, I'm always excited to see Pink perform. Yes. I think she just keeps it like interesting and just never ceases to amaze me, the stuff she does. And she sings live while doing it, which... Dangling oh, from the ceiling. Incredible. And I'm a Seattle girl, so I'm excited to see Macklemore. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Who isn't? And I guess you're excited about the Super Bowl as well. Absolutely. Go Seahawks. Go Seahawks. All right. Well, thank you. Congratulations and good luck. Please step on up, man. Black Street TV, we on the red carpet with Mr. Dietrich Haddon. How you feel to be on the red carpet at the Grammys? It's an amazing thing, man, the biggest night in music. I'm just honored to be nominated among the few, you know, and uh, it's if you make it to the Grammys, it means you're the cream of the crop. As one you are. The best. You're one of the best. So. so talk about just the platform to be able to be recognized here at the Grammys and some of the work and the ethic that it took to get here. It takes hard work, especially in gospel music. It's, uh, it's a smaller genre, and it takes a lot of hard work to get here definitely motivate you when you get in the surroundings with all these great artists people that have accomplished great feats in music it motivates you to want to do do it also you know what I'm saying and there's so much room for more growth in gospel music and we're gonna be around to do it so speaking on that growth you guys have been able to transition the music even so on TV you had a very popular show talk about that a little bit and what it meant for you to be able to use the, the television platform to even promote the gospel in that way the beautiful thing about gospel music is wide open if you can create you can create new platforms so the gospel can shine and that's what i did created a tv show uh called preachers of la we're going to season two y'all hearing it first for the first time season two of preachers of la and i have a new tv show so i'm, I'm really into being a gatekeeper, creating platforms for other artists to come on and blow it up, you know, blow gospel music up. There's so much, we got a long way to go. We've come a long way, you know, since Kirk Franklin Stump, you know, we got to give a shout out to him and Mary Mary, what they've been able to do. Uh, but we got a long way to go, man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and, and, and uh, it's going to take hard work, but we're up for it. We are. I want to ask you, you know, you just gave us exclusive that there's going to be a season two of Preachers LA, which is great. So a little bit about the controversy. There's a lot of controversy. Everybody had an opinion about the show. Where do you feel like the direction of this, the next season is going to go that may focus more on the gospel as opposed to you guys as men? Uh, I, 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 think, I think you can't show us without showing what we have. <laughs> You can't follow somebody at home without seeing where they live or where they drive. So it comes with the territory. But I think once people really, like once they get into the show like they did last season, you'll become a fan of it because you know we're not celebrating opulence and, and materialistic things. We're really just trying to show people the flip side of what it really is to be a man of the cloth or singing the gospel music, that we're human beings just like anybody else. That at the end of the day, we've dedicated our lives to helping people and we're just human beings at the, while we're trying to do it. So a lot of people couldn't handle the truth, you know what I'm saying? But I think we're moving into a generation where people can handle the truth and they realize, hey, these guys are just like me. My pastor's just like me. He got a crazy uncle that's on drugs just like me. You know, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's the same thing, you know? Yeah. We appreciate your time, man. 
it's, it's a Grammy, it's a red carpet, there's a bunch of stuff going on on the red carpet, so we got to get you out of here so you can continue your interviews. Go see the show, man. Enjoy yourself. Thank you, sir. All right, thanks, Mike. So we have a very special group of people here right now. We have the fabulous producers from the Kendrick Lamar album, what an incredible year it's had to have been for you guys. Tell me a little bit about, you know, how it feels to be at the Grammys tonight with, for Kendrick. It's such a blessing to be here. You know, I'm, I'm just glad I'm glad to be here. That's all I can say. <laughs> Walking the carpet, what's that like? Uh, it's a little, like, shell shock, but overall it's, you know, as long as I, I got my shoes tied and I don't trip over myself, I'm good to go. I'm good, yeah. So, you know, for all the Kendrick fans at home, we don't get to. We get to listen to him. We love him. What's he like in real life? Is he just an awesome person? I have to think so. Um, he's pretty chill. Like funny, but he's chill though. Yeah. yeah. Funny. What's the funniest thing he's ever done? Uh, yeah, I, yeah, just cracking jokes, I guess. Just, yeah. just funny guy. Very like easy to talk to. So his personality, people think he's serious, but overall, he's just like. Jokes are real jokes. Are. Some of his his material is pretty serious, but he's just a regular guy. Regular guy, you know, just like any one of us, like down to earth, super cool dude. So, yeah. So, in the future, what are we looking forward to from him? What can we kind of expect? Uh, I mean, I heard a couple things, and he's he just he's, he's he he pins. That's all he does all day, all day. Writes, 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 writes. So, you know, you'll get something eventually. I think he just like collecting his thoughts again, you know, and really going at it, but I heard some stuff, he's still, he still got it, like, he's he's the king, he's going, he, he's killing it, he's, that's all I can say, yeah. Hey, okay, we won't tell anybody, you said you heard some things, just a little, little sneak peek? I, I talk too much, that's, yeah, that's, uh, but no, he, he got some good stuff, I, I, you know, he's, he's back, back, just recording, and he's been recording, it's probably on the whole tour, too, so, um, you know, he's always working, so it's never really stops for him, you know what I'm saying? We definitely look forward to seeing what comes next, and congratulations. It's been an incredible year for you guys and for Kendrick, and can't wait to see what happens. like for yourself to kind of go back and rebrand yourself? Man, it was tough, man. You know, man, I mean, I hired my own street team. I went out there with them and, you know, we passed out CDs. And I, I, I jumped out the car too and just let them know, even though I got money and I'm a legend, but I, I had to show them how it's done, you know what I mean? So it, it, was a, it was a crazy journey, but I mean, you know, you got to hustle to get where you want to get, you know, to get to the top. So I'm with it, man. I mean, you know, it's a blessing, man. Well said, man. You know, there's a lot of fans of 36 Mafia and lately or a couple months ago, there's a passing of Lord Infamous, man. What are your thoughts on, on, his, on, his, on his life and his legacy and he will be missed, man. Rest in peace, Lord Infamous, man. You know what I'm saying? He was one of the original members of 36 Mafia. You know what I'm saying? I, I miss him every day, man. You know, he was a crazy, uh, dope songwriter. He could, you know, man, man, he could sing, you know. He the one who came up with, he had a lot of crazy, super crazy styles, you know, that you hear right today. So he definitely gonna be missed, man. But we, we, we gonna keep his music alive. You know what I'm saying? We gonna definitely do that. Man, Project Pat, I gotta ask you, man. First of all, here at the Grammys, man, what's kind of going through your mind as you walk the carpet, you seen all the, you know, fellow friends and stuff? Oh man, you know, I'm just saying to myself, man, like, it's, it's, it's gonna go down tonight, you know what I'm saying? It's a real blessing, man. It's a real honor to be here, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, like I said, uh, we used to be, uh, you know, living in an urban city, man, the ghetto. We used to be looking at this on TV, and now we own it. So it's just like, man, it's unreal, you know what I'm saying? Like, for real. I mean, we appreciate your time. Thank you for stopping by. You guys go enjoy yourself inside. We'll see you next year. Take care.